Hello everyone, Rob Cohe, Technical Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing. And throughout this series, you've been hearing me talk about how our customers are achieving the benefits of digital prototyping. And fewer places are more evident than with our Moldflow line of products. Now I'm here with Hanno Van Ralty. Hanno is a product manager for Moldflow. Hanno, tell us a little bit about Moldflow and how it benefits our customers. So Rob, um, the Moldflow products help you with the simulation of the injection molding process, so the plastic injection molding process. And if you look around you, like you find many, many plastic parts all over um, or in your daily life, and many of them are injection molded. And there's many, many things that it, in that injection molding process that you can go wrong and produce bad quality plastic parts. And we can predict those things before they become expensive. So you mean to tell me we can predict the elastomeric flow of a hot injected liquid going through a mold? That's correct, yes. Okay, that sounded extremely complicated. Let's simplify that a little bit. Okay. So if I take this phone over here, and um, like there's many, many plastic parts involved in here. And when I open this plastic phone up, there's at least two components that have to fit very snugly together. If they don't fit together, it's a big problem. So Hannah, with, with mold flow, it sounds like we have the ability to analyze how the mold flows, or how the plastic flows through the mold. We have the ability to analyze whether or not it's going to shrink, mm -hmm. uh, and if it's going to warp. Yeah. And that allows you to actually um, evaluate whether or not these parts, the separate parts that fit together, uh, in an assembly are going to crack, yes or no, or if they are going to fit snugly together, yes or no. That's interesting. So, so um, what are some of the things that you're excited about with Moldflow 2012? So the Moldflow 2012 release is a huge release, like, and, and I'm very, very uh, excited about this. Uh, we've accomplished a lot during this year. We not only uh, expanded our inter uh, interoperability with the other Autodesk products, um, but we also had like a lot of technology we made available uh, over the, this year in, in terms of uh, technology previews, like long fiber orientation predictions and trends in cool. Um, other, beyond that, we also have uh, now uh, some really new exciting capabilities for almost real-time simulation technology. So basically, while you're developing your plastic part, you can do this injection molding simulation and instantaneously almost get feedback on terms of how the part actually fills. If you see problems, you can make a design change and it in, uh, automatically will update your, your filling pattern. That's really super exciting technology that, that's groundbreaking. Beyond that, we have also experimented with um, cloud computing. So we have a technology preview out there right now that's called Cumulus that uh, allows the, uh, the, the Moldflow user to run the analysis not on the local desktop machine or laptop, but in the cloud. So using the raw compute power on the cloud. And that's very, very exciting. It's a, it's a big uh, transition in our, in our industry, and I think we have to be on board with that. So I want you to brag for a minute and talk a little bit about our material library inside of Moldflow. So the Moldflow material library is uh, specially developed for inject plastic injection molding simulation. And we have, by far, the largest collection of plastics, uh, plastic injection molded uh, materials in our database, like about 9,000 materials at the moment. Hmm. That's, that, that's amazing. So, Hanno, tell me why long fiber orientation was, was something that you guys really wanted to get into this release. In the automotive industry, there's a big trend of starting to use more and more long fiber filled materials for developing really high strength, lightweight plastic parts. And the long fiber uh, orientation capability we have now in the 2012 release is the first in industry to calculate the uh, orientation of long fibers uh, in the injection molding process. First thing, that's, that's fantastic. So, Hanno, throughout this web series, I've been interviewing product managers, and one of the things that they're um, really excited about is the inclusion of Inventor Fusion in with their product. How is this going to affect your customers? What it means to them is basically um, if a, they get a design that's produced by a designer and do the simulation for injection molding and find there's a problem with it, they can actually make the design change themselves. Do the simulation again and basically show the implications of the, the improved design change. So communicate through direct modeling rather than communication through red lines. Correct. Yes. Which could potentially really reduce time to market. And with with your with your kind of uh, customers, time to market is it's just absolutely, absolutely crucial. Uh, crucial. Uh, uh, critical to them. You know, Hannah, the improvements that you've made to the user interface and the ease of use, as well as the long fiber orientation and including fusion in the boxes, is really going to make Moldflow 2012 a strong release. Thanks so much. Hey, thank you very much.